Hello! In this video we will look at attached joint geometry node in Houdini 19. It's a node for assigning control geometry to joints and it offers a few different options which we might use depending on our workflow. So first let's look at the basic setup. So we have a basic skeleton, a rig pose and an output null and to attach the controls we simply add attach joint geometry node and then we have to create a few controls. So for instance, let's add box, sphere, and let's add another one. And let's call it octahedron. Okay, so we have three controls. The typical workflow is to add the name attribute for each control. For instance, here, we can add the name box control, then we have the sphere control and the octahedron control. And in previous version, the typical workflow was to use the merge node and then connect the merge SOP to attach joint geometry or attach control geometry in Houdini 18.5. And then we simply assign control shapes to joints. Now these controls are a little too large, so I'm gonna just scale them down. So this way we have controls. Now in Houdini 19 we have another option and we can use the merge pact. So if you connect all these three controls and merge packed and connect this one and go back to attach joint geometry, we notice that we have name one, name two, and name three. And this is because the merge packed SOP takes the control naming from the uh, SOP names that are the input of merge packed. So for instance, if we rename the SOP, so this would be name box, and then we have the name sphere, and then we have name platonic, or rather name octahedron, and then reload these names. We have these three names, and here we can now choose, for instance, name box. You can also rename this here, so let's name it name new box. And this will be then renamed to name new box. So these are the options that we have now in Merge Pact. We can also use the name that we set here with the name nodes. All we have to do is enable the name overwrite attribute option. And then the names will be passed through. And these names here, name one to three, will be ignored. So if you go back to the attach joint geo, we see we now have the old name, so the box control uh, and sphere control and so on, as we have set here in the names. So depending on how our workflow or how we wish to name the controls, there are a few different options. In general, I would use the name SOP for setting the names of the controls, as I wouldn't like to rely on node names that are updated in the merge pack SOP. In my opinion, it could be much easier to run into problems if the names are constantly updated in the merge pack SOP, especially when we start adding or removing controls to merge pack. So this is now a typical setup uh, in local space. So for instance, if we add a transform SOP and change the translate for this box, we see that we transform the control position in local space. Now we can assign the controls here in the viewport as well. So if we clear the assignments and start again. So for instance, let's say that I want to assign controls for the left arm. So I can select all the controls, press G, and this will create another group. And by using the mouse scroll wheel, I can go through all the controls and it will assign them here. So a very simple to do this and if I want to remove from the group I can just 
uh, select the joint and press Ctrl plus G. And of course, we also have the hotkeys displayed here in the viewport. So it's very easy now to assign control shapes. And a very useful hotkey shortcut is S. So if I hold it down and drag, I can select multiple joints at once. And then I can press G and use a mouse scroll wheel to assign different control shapes. Now, I can also, for instance, if this is too large, I can use the tweak shapes. And again, I'm gonna select this, press G, and then, for instance, I can just scale all the controls down. The S shortcut works also with shift selection. So if I press down S and before releasing, hold on shift as well, it will add to selection. And if I press down S and drag and press control before releasing, it will remove from selection. So pretty straightforward options for selecting joints. We can also tweak the controls in the parameters panel. And we can set it translate, rotate, scale, and change the display of the controls any way we want. We can also change the color, for instance. We can also add tweaks based on joint attributes. So if we add, for instance, an attribute triangle here, and let's call init controls. So we can add a default color attribute. So let's say by default, controls will be green. And we also can transform them. So we can create a four by four matrix. And then let's create another attribute triangle. And this one will be set our own controls. So for instance, we're going to just select these joints here. And for these joints, we're going to set the color to be, to be blue. And we're going to translate the transform control. And let's move it in X axis. And then in that joint geo, just use the joint offset attribute. So this will be transform control and joint color attribute, which will be color control. So now we see that we have different placement for the controls as well as different color for these controls here. So this is just another way of setting the control offset and color and probably might be very useful for characters that share the same skeletons. So right now we have assigned controls in local space, but we can also use the world space controls. So I'm gonna create another setup and I'm gonna copy this whole setup here. I'm gonna just modify it. So the world space controls assignment allows the controls to be placed in world space and then assigned uh, to each joint without moving them. So what we can do, and I'm gonna clean up the setup just a bit. And I'm going to delete this transform sop. So we can use this part of the setup here, and we're gonna create another part of the setup. So for instance, let's say that for the leg joints, we're gonna set up controls in world space. So I'm gonna take this box and I'm gonna just place it here. I'm gonna name it, and this will be, for instance, keep control. And then I'm gonna duplicate this one down. Then 
this will be the knee control and then I'm gonna create another one and this one will be the ankle control then I'm gonna merge these three together and here in the attached joint geometry we have under advanced shape settings uh, we have enabled has input world space shape group so the attached joint geometry we look in this group for controls which are in world space so that means that here we have to create a group and we're going to use the same name we could of course use other name and then just also update it here as well so we're going to use world shapes and then create another merge node we're going to merge the local space controls and world space controls so i'm going to just create two nulls and this will be local space controls and another now here and this will be world space controls merge local and world and then connect this one to the second input so now if you go into that joint geometry node and go into the viewer state and go into assign shapes we first select the assign in world space and we get these three controls that we have created here in world space so now i can select the hip joint i hold down g and click on this world space control so now we see that the leg hip joint got assigned the hip control and the control stays in place because it automatically got the hip shape or transform flag enabled now let's do the same for the knee and ankle so this is a useful feature if we already have all the controls placed in world space and we just want them to assign to a skeleton we can still tweak those shapes so we can select all these three hit g to create a group for instance change the color or translate them in any direction so quite a useful feature where we already have controls properly placed in world space and the last thing that we're going to look into are shape templates and first i'm going to just reset this translate and we don't use the joint color attribute in this setup because we deleted those attribute wrangles so i'm going to just disable these two options now the shape template allows us to store the control assignment for the whole skeleton so for instance if you would like to reuse this assignment on a different character we can store this whole control assignment setup so we can store this in external file so i'm going to use the rob geometry and save this to an external file and i'm going to name this control shape library and then just save it to disk now if i copy just this part of setup here and disconnect this part here so this would be a fresh setup to which we would like to apply the shape template we can now create a file that will load this geometry file and the shape templates we connect to the third input of a dead joint geometry and now a dead joint geometry will assign control shapes from the shape template file and this way we can create a whole character store the shape template in external file and then simply load it back and apply it to characters which have a similar setup and then if you look at the shape template tab we see that we have a few additional options so if you have the same skeleton this is very easy but we can use other options for instance how it will match and find the joints and we can also limit the joints to which we would like to assign the shape and sometimes it doesn't update properly in the viewport and I noticed by just changing the keep template flags on and off usually forces an update 
And then we can also define the template joints or the joints from the template that we wish to transfer to the target joints. We can also decide whether or not we wish to keep template joint offsets and wall transforms as well. So a very useful option, especially for characters that have the same skeletons or we wish to have the same control setups and uh, we only need to prepare it once and use it multiple times. And last, just a quick tip. So now we have quite a lot of options for setting control shapes and I would suggest that in order to avoid confusion to use the same workflow for names, color, control scales and so on. So for instance, if I would be using name subs for setting the names of the controls, I would do that throughout the whole rig. I wouldn't mix setting names uh, in one part of the setup using name subs and in other parts of the setup using merge pack sub. And the same for the control scaling, I would either use the transform subs or use the tweak tab in the attach joint geometry, but I wouldn't mix them unless I had a good reason to do that. As this would just make things more confusing, and later, if I would want to make corrections for the control shapes, it would take more time to figure out where exactly I have to make modifications. So basically, I would just suggest to keep workflow consistent throughout the setup. And that's it for this video, and I hope you found it useful, and see you next time.